Hi, this is our newest uh, version of L LSTO2 uh, uh, LCD screen tester. As you can see, uh, we have changed some, there's some new designs and front panel and back panel have a silver, have a silver screen print and also have black color. And uh, basically, there's uh, four CCFL uh, lamp inverter inside where we design a, our inverters. And we also have all these prints and make it much easier for you uh, to recognize which parts which part which is this is screen wire harness, deep switch, uh, voltage and a four port inverter or for LED supply and this is four port, I mean this six port, this four port is for DBO1. Uh, basically, uh, other than that will be the same as before. Um, so when you purchase a version 2, uh, you're gonna see that there's two it will come with the two uh, extension CCFLY cable connect to these four ports there's a couple reasons that we um, so if you see that do not pull out okay just leave it as is when you're using to test others uh, test the LC screens you're gonna also see the label here that do not remove this CCFLY horns the reason we do this, there's two reasons. First reason would be instead of you know kind of disconnect and we connect it back and back and forth, back and forth, and um, you know if you more than you, you, if you connect and disconnect, you use it more often. It's quite easy to get damage for the uh, inverters, female inverter convert uh, uh, connector inside the inverter. Um, you know, if you just connect this side, if you got damage, you just order the this wire from our website, just replace it for a few dollars. So that way you can extend the life of the inverter. Second and most important uh, reason we're going to leave with this CCFL wire extension wire connect is low. It serves as a load for the internal inverters. So another means that if you leave it and connect to a, uh, just leave it as is. And then when you fire up the LSTO2 and you won't hear any noises and you won't hear any, you don't smell any high voice smells because this wire and serve as a, a load. So that way the, the current on internal uh, uh, inverter will be a little bit more smaller if there's no uh, CCF I would connect to. So just when you use it, just use it as is and just, you know, uh, when you want to test the screen, you just connect this side to the LCD screen's uh, backlight. All right. So now we're gonna. I'm gonna show you how to use this newer version, uh, uh, to test a uh, LCD screens. First sample I'm gonna show you is a 15 inch screen. Okay. Uh, it's a uh, LTN 154X3-03. If you look at this screen and go to our site. And use a cross reference table, it will tell you 1, 2, deep switch will be 1, 2, the wall is 3.3, and then screen wire, screen wire harness will be this one, uh, which is FIS 30S 1 LVDS. So it's quite simple. First, make sure you, you, you disconnect the cable, don't do an error, means that do not connect travel to the to the LS2 yet until you hook up the screen so and then let's say this is a screen okay we're gonna connect to a um, make sure the white dots face up make sure this one backlight lamp connect to one of this CC one of this uh, inverter ports okay yeah that's the right direction now it's facing up and then you apply a VGA signal um, to a uh, on the back. Now the last thing you apply the travel to the tester. Then you fire up. Oh, no power. Then you fire up. You see that? Okay. This is a 15.4 inch screen. So you fire up. It's quite easy. There's nothing you can do. Nothing you need to do. And basically, just set the dip switch. See, dip switch one, two on, and connect one of uh, backlight lamp to uh, to one of these ports, and then apply apply a VGA signal on the back, and you just connect a travel to the tester and turn on the tester. 
that's it so turn it on disconnect it next step next screen I'm going to show you how to use uh, LSTO2 to test uh, LED screens most of LED screen from 10.1 up to 17.3 they're using a what we call is a WXGA HD which is the resolution is 1366 by 768 um, <clears throat> all this version 2 had been programmed to uh, 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 1366 by 768 besides this standard uh, resolutions okay so all you need to do is quite simple just make sure of course you disconnect the cable pause you disconnect the DC voltage first and then you set all jumpers to off okay if you have screen number you can go to our site uh, cross reference table and to look up the the wire harness uh, but you know 1366 by 768 usually it's using the one uh, i-pex-20455-040 wire harness so I have a screen here this is a uh, 15.6 made by LG Philips the part number is LP156WH4 <clears throat> so one end connect to here this is what this is the wire harness you need I dash PX dash two oh four five five dash four four. So basically, um, it's quite simple. You just connect um, this wire harness. Make sure the white dot face up. See, you see all this. I forgot to show you. This is I, I'm not sure you can see or not. The first pin is always missing. The reason actually we did it on purpose. Uh, make sure the people will you know why. Why that must face out? Make sure people don't. If you flip over, and won't go in. So that's not the, the defective uh, uh, test that when you receive it. This is we did it on purpose. First pin miss. Anyway, just connect like face up. Now because this is LED, so we connect this six pin to this inverter port. It's an LED power supply. Okay. Next thing, of course, apply the VGA signal to a tester, and then last connect a uh, charging supply and turn it on and uh, here you go okay <clears throat> that's it now, of course you can uh, go to online to download any test pattern uh, color pattern to test and try to bring up different a uh, 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 background to see the dead piece or stuff like that but one thing I just want to emphasize uh, uh, that uh, every time when you switch the screen okay when you switch a screen to test a different screen for example I just did it uh, from 15.4 to 15.6 uh, inch every time before you test next screen always disconnect the power not just shut it off okay you had to disappoint the power do the settings and then everything hook up then you apply VGA signal the last thing you apply the VGA apply travel to the tester that way uh, your, your tester will last much, much longer because in, a, in some rare cases, if you leave the power on and then you try to switch to a different screen, you might damage uh, the, uh, the LCD controllers inside the LSD or two. And so that's it. Uh, thank you for watching.